Hello everyone and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today the problem which we're going to see is to delete n nodes after m nodes of a linked list. So in this problem uh, you will be given two integers m and n and we have to traverse the linked list such that we retain m nodes and then delete the next n nodes. Then we again retain the next m nodes then we delete the next n nodes and we continue till the end of the linked list. Let's see it with an example. So uh, given uh, this linked list, so m is equal to 2 and n is also equal to 2. So we retain the two elements here. Then we delete 3 and 4. Then we retain these two elements here. Then we delete these two elements. So we have 1, 2, 5 and 6. Okay, for the second example, we have m equal to 3 and n equal to 2. So uh, in this linked list, uh, we retain the first three elements. Then we delete the next two elements. Then we again retain the next three elements. Then we delete the next two elements. So 1, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8. Now here m is equal to 1, n equal to 1. So both are equal to 1. So we retain 1, we delete 2. We retain 3, we delete 4. We retain 5, we delete 6. We retain 7, delete 8. We retain 9 and delete 10. So we have these alternate numbers here as the output. Okay, so uh, the main part of this problem is to maintain proper links between the nodes and make sure that all the corner cases are handled. So uh, let's dive into the code. So here we have the driver method. So in this driver method, uh, we are going to create a linked list uh, uh, having these 10 elements from 1 to 10, so continuous 10 elements. So uh, we create a head node, then we uh, give the value m equal to 2 and n equal to 3. Then here we are creating the linked list. So we insert all the elements from 1 to 10 here. Then we first of all uh, print the uh, linked list as of now. Then we'll uh, call the function skip m delete n. And then we'll again print the linked list. So first of all let's discuss this skip uh, m delete n method. And then we'll move on to the print list functions. So skip m delete n. Here we get as an argument the head of the node, that is the head of the uh, linked list, and the integer m and n, where m is the number of uh, values which we have to retain, and then n is the number of values which we have to delete. So we create a, a variable current which is initialized to head then we have a t of the type node a node star basically and here we have the variable count so uh, we have the uh, main while loop here so uh, it will run as as till the point we have uh, the current variable has the uh, has some value uh, if it becomes null then uh, this loop will basically break so we have to skip the first m nodes so this code does the job so count is equal to one and count is count is equal to one so we initializing count equal to one and till the time count is smaller than m and current is not equal to null we inc increment the count and we also uh, we are basically skipping the uh, the nodes so we do current equal to current uh, the next of the current so we skip m nodes like this then uh, we also check that if we have reached the end of the list so if uh, we uh, if this condition becomes false uh, while running this loop then it will break out of this loop and we should also break out of this uh, bigger while loop so from the outer while loop will break uh, by this condition which is checking if current is equal to null then once we have uh, skipped the m nodes then uh, we'll be deleting the n nodes so for that uh, 
what we'll do is we uh, start from the next node to delete n nodes so we have t equal to current the next of the current then uh, we again start a similar loop so count is equal to one count is smaller than equal to n and t is not equal to null we do a count plus plus and inside this uh, for loop we should uh, store the variable uh, uh, t inside the temp so this is the uh, node which is to be deleted then we do a t is equal to next of t so we uh, actually uh, skip the uh, current node that is the uh, that is stored in the temp or you can say t till this point after this point uh, we have uh, we have moved the connection to the next node and then we basically free the temp so uh, this is the node which we deleted in this step so we keep on uh, repeating these three steps till the time we have deleted n nodes then we move the current pointer uh, to basically link to the previous list with the remaining nodes so the next of the current becomes t and then we finally set the current pointer for the next iteration as current equal to t so for the next iteration after it has uh, done uh, skipping the first m nodes and then deleting the uh, n nodes then we uh, again keep on doing the same process till the time we have the value current that is that means it does it is not null or it doesn't reaches null at this step we keep doing uh, the whole process again and again now let's look at the uh, push function which we used in the uh, driver method so here we basically get as an argument the uh, head of the node and the new data which is to be inserted so we create a new node which is of the type node star we allocate it at the memory then we put the data inside uh, that node then i link the old list of the new node so we do a new node the next pointer of the new node as the value of uh, head ref then we move the head to the pointer of to the new node so we do uh, value at head ref equal to new node so this is how we are pushing the elements inside the linked list and to print the linked list we basically uh, have a initialize initial variable uh, basically temp which is initialized to head and then we run a loop uh, till the point temp is, temp is not equal to null we keep on printing the value and then we keep on traversing it so we do a temp equal to next of temp after we are done printing the list we just print a new line character so the time complexity of this algorithm is order of n where n is the number of nodes in the linked list why because we are getting into the uh, we are basically traversing a linked list only once so that's why the time complexity is order of n so that is all for this tutorial uh, you can visit this link to find out all the stuff which we discussed in this tutorial and to also run the code which we just discussed thank you very much